Hey everyone, welcome to my next video in my coding series on my 2018 uh, VW Golf R. So today we are going to be uh, changing the blower, uh, blower speed display in auto mode. So um, this car has automatic climate control. So um, what that means basically is when you put it in auto mode, whatever temperature you set, it will get to that temperature as quickly as it can by adjusting the blower speed, the direction of the vents, the temperature, etc. And so uh, when you do that and you turn on auto mode by just pushing auto, you can see the little uh, light comes on for auto mode. The fan, in this case because it's hot in here right now, speeds up. <coughs> and um, you can see you have your temperature set right here. So. It will automatically do everything for you. You can also put it in manual mode just by adjusting the dial here. And then you can see auto turned off and now you got the little LEDs going around the dial to tell you how fast the blower speed is and then you can manually control your direction of your air, etc. So either or. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, but if you notice when we're in manual mode the little LEDs surround the dial so that you know how fast your fan is going. So if you turn them up higher, right, turn them down, lower. But when you go into auto mode, it actually disables that LED so you can't tell how fast your fan is blowing. So what, why is that a big deal? Well, if you have your temperature set to whatever it may be and the car is like really far from that temperature, the blower tends to uh, go way, way up and, you know, make a lot of noise. You can't hear the radio, etc. So what I'd like to do is be able to just adjust the temperature to lower the blower a little bit until it gets, you know, closer and then I can uh, <clears throat> change it as needed. So in other words, let's say the car is like 90 degrees and I have it set to 60 here. It's going to put the blower on max so it can get up to as, you know, down to 60 as quickly as it can. Whereas if I just turn the temperature knob up a little bit, then it'll actually lower the blower speed because it doesn't need as much so I'd like to be able to see on the dial here what the blower speed is and so what we're going to do is we're going to enable it so that the little LEDs are displayed whether it's in auto mode or manual mode either or um, and so this one's a pretty easy quick setting it's just a single setting on this one so it shouldn't be a big deal okay so we'll, we'll give it a try so if we go down to our OBD11 device. We're just going to connect to our car. Okay, so we're connected. Now we're going to go to the control units. This control unit is going to be number 8, which is air conditioning, obviously. Just have to wait till all the data loads. Okay, and now in this particular case, instead of going under adaptations like we usually do, we're actually going to go under long coding. So you'll see long coding listed here. And then when long coding comes up, you're looking for an entry that says blower display in auto operation. Okay, so here we are. So let's uh, start scrolling until we find what we're looking for. I don't think I saw it at the top here. So right here it is. Blower display in auto operation. And you can see it says not activated right now. So we're going to change that to activated. So again, just verify your right choice is made in your white box here. Blower display and auto operation. Say OK. And then hold down the green check mark. And then it says coding accepted instead of adaptation accepted.
Now just a note about this. I am on a 2018 Mark 7.5. So if you search on the forums for this change, you're going to see that there's a different set of uh, instructions for the Mark 7s. Because originally on the Mark 7s you had to go into the same long coating, so it would have been the same thing for the air conditioning and long coating. But instead of having a choice in here, you actually had to go down to the bytes and then change the bit. So I think it was byte 11 and then you had to enable bit 6 on byte 11. So it was a little bit different because what's happened in the 7.5's Volkswagen changed the software and now they, on some of the entries now, they have them actually spelled out and just listed. Other ones you still have to do the long coding with the bytes and the bits. And then on top of that, they've moved stuff around so when you're you know, looking at instructions that were for a Mark Point uh, 7, you may not find them, and you may think, oh, I can't do it on my car, but that's not the case. Really what it is, is, it's just located in a different section, and you have to find it. So the instructions I'm giving are for a Mark 7.5. Uh, so if you're on a Mark 7, it's going to be a little bit different, because you have to actually change the bytes and the bits. Um, so that's it. So now, if we uh, go to our display here, and we turn on Auto, you can see it's displaying the LEDs and actually the, you see them going up as the fan is increasing okay and if I go into uh, manual mode it's still on you can see the, uh, the LEDs are still on if I go to auto mode they're still on. So that is our little coating change, a quick easy coating change today. All we're doing is we're uh, making sure that our uh, LEDs stay on whether we're in auto or manual mode. So hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my next coating video coming up pretty soon. Alright so here's our final settings on a Mark 7.5 uh, Golf. So this is for the blower speed display in auto mode. So you're going to go to uh, control unit 8, air conditioning. You're going to go to long coating. No security access to enter, just right to long coating. And then you're going to search for an entry called blower display in auto operation. And it should currently be set to not activated. And you want to set it to activated. Hold down the green check. And then you should get a message that says coating accepted. And that would be it. Simple change and you can have your LEDs display in auto mode um, for your air conditioning.